Thomas Carty, congratulations. To get the stoppage in a cauldron of atmosphere here in your home city and to win your first professional title in the process as well, can you sum up how this feels and what this means to you tonight? No, nope, I can't. I really can't, mate. I looked around when I, when I knocked him down. The fight is a blur, to be honest. All I remember is landing a left hand, stepping over him, looking up, and the place was just erupting, mate. I've never seen anything like it in my life. You dropped him heavily with, a, with that southpaw backhand. That's always going to be a problem for fighters. And I think Jay actually got up on him. I heard him ringside say that was a hell of a shot. Fair yeah, play. Yeah. Uh, just talk us through your, your memories from the first knockdown, if you can, and, and certainly to enter the fight. Uh, I think, do you know what it is? If you look back on any of my fights, you can see that I have a really good job. You know what I mean? Uh, my job is my best shot, by far my best shot. And what happened was Jay kind of negated the jab completely. But by negating the jab, he left an opening for the left hand to slip through. So by blocking off one, he left me up, left it open for the second. And uh, I was just able to land at free, at free will, you know what I mean? Um, anytime I touched him on the chin clean, he seemed to go down or it seemed to hurt him. You know, I, I landed a few nice shots that people probably didn't see as he was coming in. A few nice hooks to the side of the head and that. Um, little small bit in the clinch. And that. It was a tough fight, man. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. He made me ask some questions of myself in there. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm sure you always visualised how you'd win your first professional title. Was that probably just about as fairy tale as it could have got for you tonight? Can't get any better, mate. It really can't get any better, you know what I mean? It's still all a big flash for me, what happened out there. Um, I still, all I can see is when I knocked him down, looking up at the crowd and everybody jumping up, everybody going crazy, absolutely crazy. A couple of people at ringside then losing their mind. But the carty no, party in full swing. This is what dreams are made <laughs> of, bro, for me, you know what I mean? I think I spoke to you after my first win. Um, on a matchroom card, it was my second fight, first win on a matchroom card. This is further than I or anybody else ever expected me to go, was even boxing on a matchroom card. Here we are now, a couple of fights later, my first title, so we're going to keep pushing the boat out until see where we find. I spoke to Paddy Donovan a little bit earlier on before your fight on the live broadcast, and I said, look, you've got Katie Taylor leading the way, but we want to build something special in Ireland, and it's important that you have the right supporting cast with the likes of Paddy Donovan, Gary Carley, Kevin Jarko, the list goes on, but why do you feel Thomas Carty is also a name that's going to be featuring regularly on these cars now? Look at the atmosphere there tonight, mate. You know what I mean? Uh, seven o'clock, Paddy Boxed already. Keeping boxing now. But did you hear the crowd from me, bro? These lads, we're all Irish, you know what I mean? We've all been on Irish amateur teams and that. But I, I'm from here, bro. I'm from 10 minutes up the road. I can walk to my house from here, do you know what I mean? All that crowd there, everybody is mostly Dublin, you know what I mean? From what I've seen, what I heard outside anyways. All Dublin. So I think to have me as the forefront for boxing in Dublin, it's going to be special, bro. We do have to talk Jay. about uh, what's next. Jay, he's here. Jay, do you want to come in? Jump in, bro. Do you want to come in? Absolutely, Jay, yeah. If you guys want to stand uh, next to each other. Fucking, it's been so weak. Yeah, it's been amazing. Do you know, it was just to land his first and you land his first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one has, by the way, no one has done that to me. I've been in with some of the best in the world. No one's done that to me. Fair play to you, big yeah. Big, honestly, I wish you all the best. I really, really enjoyed fight week because, you know, Look at us, everybody's talking about our fight, no, bro. No, no, no. Everybody, apart from Katie, everybody's talk talking about our fight. And we both know it was all love. Of course, no, we, we know it was all we, fucking love. We spoke when the fight was done. I did get it right, I was like, you're scared, you bro. You did, bro. <laughs> I just want to say, who told them to wear a Rovers top, bro? Who told them to wear a Rovers jersey? <laughs> I just want to say, yeah, I was nobody. I seen your Instagram years ago. Yeah, but with Tyson Fury with the Bohemians on, and I went, I am going to fucking get him. Here, I do with the diligence, mate. So here's the story, here's the story. <laughs> uh -huh. I went home after you wore at the press conference, and my missus was at home and I was, she, we were getting ready to go to the hotel. Got my shit out and then I, I, the no cardigan car party t-shirts I had. And I was like, nah, I'm wearing the fucking bow shirt. And she was like, do not. He'll know that he got under your skin. Do not. No, I'm wearing it. I was like, no, I'm wearing it. That's it. I'm wearing my bow shirt. Fuck him. Fuck Rovers, all this sort of stuff. Uh, I'm wearing it. But uh, I opted uh, to go with the no cardigan Yeah, that was party. me going to game last night. Thank fuck, because I could beat two on. <laughs> I was going to put no, it on a It was shirt, great, mate. Fuck. I seen you at the run yeah. this morning. You really played the villain well, bro. I know, because you know I'm not a fucking villain, man. I'm the placid, nicest guy you'll meet, but... That's what I said, play, play, play the bro. villain. I know you're a nice guy, bro. Oh. I know you're a fucking solid guy. Oh. Solid guy. Thank you, Respect for that. Respect. Certainly what the sport is all about. Great to see you, gentlemen. No, um, no. I'll, I'll let you go, mate. You have your fucking moment. Great stuff. Great, great stuff, Jay. Give me a text. We saw that this, yeah? Hello, give me a text. Jay, son, man. Well done, mate. Thanks so much. No. True gentleman. Um, Tom, let's just talk about what could be next for you. When you look at heavyweights on the scene... Nick Campbell's a name that, that has been talked about. Uh, Steve Robinson as well. What's Absolutely. in your mind of what could be next? For me personally, yeah. I, this is my first title. The one I really wanted to win was the Irish title. I'm happy I won this one. I wouldn't mind adding another strap to the collection or whatever my management team and coach seem fit, you know what I mean? So whatever's next, I don't mind. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, um, gonna go back to the drawing board after this, have a look, see what we can improve on and make a decision from there. Let me grab a quick word from Pascal Collins, the man in the corner. 
Uh, I know you two have a great relationship in and out of boxing. Uh, Pascal, this was a, a big night for Tom, his first title fight, a big step up for him on paper in his home city. Just bring you into that mic as well, Pascal. How, how pleased were you with how well we handled the pressure of the whole occasion? Um, yeah, he, he handled the pressure really well all week. I mean, he lives in Dublin. I've seen fighters um, come to their hometown and, you know, not perform because they try too hard. Um, Thomas has been calm and cool all week. Um, he, he's a good listener in the corner. He's better now. He actually looked to us when he went to the neutral corner, but um, he, he, he dropped he dropped uh, his opponent tonight, and I think he kind of got a little over anxious to try finish him. He's only had five fights prior to this. Imagine five, six more fights, what he will do to these guys when he actually gets his timing right. He's not trying too hard. Um, he's a class act. I tell him. I tell him in the gym, say, Thomas, you're a really, really, really good fighter. You will become a great fighter. But you got to believe in yourself. And it's, it's these wins help him believe in himself. And, and it's each win gives you confidence and builds you slowly. It's going to be a, a, you know, a while in the making because for a heavyweight, he's only a baby. He's got a great management team. We have Magic. We've got his brother Liam and all our corner around us. And we've got a great team. A lot of trust goes on. So I say, Thomas, try this, this. He will try it. He trusts me. But he's got a huge future. And, you know, big nights back here in Dublin, 7 o'clock on a Saturday night. They're watching Thomas Carty. And they'll all leave now and go to Bar, by the way, and just come back out for Katie. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, great, great stuff, Pascal. Thanks for your time. Uh, I have no doubts, Tom, that the self-belief is certainly going to grow from tonight. Your first professional title and the new Celtic heavyweight champion. Final message. Before we finish up, but what I'm weak as a girl, I'll go to the hook Tokyo Kum. I've written a shock, I'll go to the hook. Tommy, I'm a weak as a girl. I'll go to Tokyo Kulair. I'll go to the Fekka Mishiv, Kulair, a crystal, a Ghanaian club. Do you want to tell us what you said there? So I'd just like to thank everybody tonight for the support. I'd like to thank everybody that supported me all week. And I'll see you all in Crystal after the fights. Thomas Carty, enjoy the rest of the night and the new. Well done, mate.